flow track here with Georgetown coach, Coach Baker. Um, an awesome run from the Georgetown girls, or woman, excuse me. Um, you know, talk to me a little bit about today's run and, you know, what you saw out of your team today. Well, we've been looking for a little bit more um, momentum out of our 6 seven, eight, and I thought they did an awesome job of executing the race plan, climbing towards that top 30, uh, one inside the 30, uh, top 30 and 31. Uh, we decided to rest Chloe Scrimger, just give her a little bit of rest, a little bit of sickness, and um, the rest of them have stepped up awesome. The, that next four really executed a great race plan to get inside the top 10, which is what we kind of aimed for, and then a great job out of that, um, what became our 5 6 7 today. Really, really great team race, really proud of them. It's um, a lot of pressure to qualify when you're supposed to. I thought they handled that really well and did a great job executing. And I think that says a lot about your team that you guys can rest Chloe and still kind of just really just roll through the meet. Um, you know, what did you see from the individuals out there today? Obviously, Melissa was battling for the win there. Um, you know, what's going through your head in those closing 2,000 meters when you see your girls start moving up or women start moving up? Yeah, I, you know, um, we've looked for a little bit of uh, variability in that front five. You know, Chloe had kind of led us, and we had been kind of stacking behind that in, in somewhat regular order. So I felt like uh, Kelsey Swenson moving into our number two today, um, Chloe, Chloe Gonzalez has been really rock solid, and then, and then Maggie's starting to come along, a little bit of a slower start to her year. So um, really starting to put the pieces together. So I'm really excited because I now think that front five can really work off each other, pinball and, and propel each other in, in, a, in a bigger field. And so I think we're... Um, we're, we have a lot more tools in the belt after today. I'm really excited about that. And now, obviously, the attention, you know, shifts to, to nationals. How do you approach, you know, the, the next few weeks as, as in the run-up to nationals? Well, try not to get anybody sick. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yes. hold on one second, one second. Um, you know, it, the, the, the work is done, so now it's a matter of getting into our post-run or post-race recovery routine, trying to get that going as quick as we can. Um, just kind of rest as best as we can the next few days. Um, we had the luxury, I think this is the first time since 93, that the NCAA meet will be held anywhere between Virginia and Maine. So we're really looking forward to an easy trip over to UVA. Um, we're used to kind of getting on planes and making long travel days. So uh, we're going to try to lean into that and really get really rested up and um, really just you know fine tune those little pieces that we know uh, everyone has probably one small thing that they can do and try not to do anything more than that in terms of taking those steps forward as well. And, and you mentioned the you know, location. Obviously, the weather comes to an advantage for, for you guys, you know, more comfortable with the weather conditions compared to going somewhere south, obviously. Yeah, yeah. How does that kind of impact the race plan and, um, you know, the experience? <laughs> I think the, I mean, it could be raining. It, you know, I th this is the first, I think this is the first meet we've had all year where it wasn't raining. So I think in general, the group and the program does really well in bad weather. So uh, I don't mind hot or cold or snow or rain. I think that always throws a wrench in some people's mindsets. And I think this group does a great job of uh, just tackling that. Um, so I think for us, it's mostly just a matter of um, knowing that some teams will be at an advantage because they've seen the course more often or they have an opportunity to, um, you know, they, they've been together a little bit longer as a group or they've been you know, close to being in that top cohort a bunch of times. Now they're really ready. For us, we still feel like we've got a lot to prove as a program, and this group really feels like um, the, that setting is meant for them and they're going to be ready to go. Awesome. Well, congratulations again, Coach Baker, Georgetown, with the win here at the Mid-Atlantic Region Championship. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.